What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Simone and I'm here to help you to improve your funky drumming skills. In today's lesson I want to share with you how to play the groove that Steve Jordan plays on Unchain My Heart by John Schofield. There are so many cool things in this groove that I want to share with you, so let's do this. The first important thing in this groove is that Steve plays the beat with a swing feel. It's not a straight 8 groove and this will make a huge difference in the song because if you play that groove in a straight 8 way it will sound completely different. Let me show you for a second how this groove sounds like if we play it in a straight way or with a swing feel so you can notice the difference between those two interpretations. Okay, let's talk about how he plays this groove, because as you can see from the transcription, this is not a complicated beat, okay? So it's very simple actually, but the main thing is how he plays that groove, how he can achieve that kind of sound, okay? This will make a huge difference in this groove. So starting with the hi-hat, as you can see here we are going to play a simple 8 note pattern, but how he plays the hi-hat here is the main thing, okay? So he used, first of all, a very huge hi-hat. So he plays with 17 inches, okay? And right now I'm playing with a 16 inches, which is closer to that kind of sound. And in order to achieve the right sound for this groove, you have to play your hi-hat not too tight, okay, not too close in this way, not too loose, just right, okay, something in between. Moving on to the snare drum, here we have just two simple accents on the backbeat, okay? And in order to play those two notes, you have to hit your snare drum with a rim shot. The cool thing in this beat for the snare drum is also the tuning. The pitch of the snare drum is very high. Okay, so Steve is playing with a very tight tuning here. Moving on to the kick drum, which is very syncopated and played with a swing feel as we noticed before. Here I feel that Steve is not playing the kick drum line with so many attack, okay? It's not a punchy drum kick. So in order to achieve that kind of sound, right now I am playing with this very particular Vic Firth beater, okay? Which is the VKB3. Okay, so I'm using this one because I believe that it will make me play closer to that feeling that he has on the kick drum. 
Alright guys, now let's play this groove at 60 and 83 BPM, which is the original tempo of this song. For this drum lesson you can download the backing track of the song that I played at the beginning of the video on my Patreon page, so you can have more fun playing the groove. So thank you guys for watching this new drum lesson and see you very soon with some new cool stuff to play.